A good Saturday morning to you and a happy new year. If you're thinking, hey, I really like Vail and I'd like to own in the area, we have a really interesting little neighborhood. It's called the Cascade and joining me now is John Tyler with Slifer Smith & Frampton. Happy new year to you. Tracy, happy new year to you. You finally cleaned off the counters and recycled everything from your new year's party. We finally finished cleaning last night. Yeah. The tree is down. We're ready for spring. You're ready? For, no, well, whoa, hold on, John. <laughs> it's still ski season. We're not ready for spring Negative yet. Negative 10 this morning. I'm ready for spring. I know, anyway. I know. It was hard to get out of bed this morning, that's it was, for sure. It was. But you're highlighting a neighborhood today, the Cascade, which is kind of mm -hmm. unique and a lot of people probably don't even know because it's tucked away. Well, yes, and we have some photos this morning showing it from a distance mm -hmm. across the valley, just to the west of Lion's Head. Cascade has been one of those neighborhoods that a lot of people in Vail miss, and it's the one with the chairlift just to the far west. It has its own private chairlift. You can ski into the area. It's the home of the Araya Spa. Mm -hmm. Gore Creek goes right through it. It's one of those neighborhoods that when people live there or stay there, they come back. If you live there, you tend to stay there. Right. Well, there's a, a lot time. of amenities in the bike mm -hmm. path and the uh, buses right there, so you yep. don't you don't really need to venture off too far. Right. You're not right in the middle of the hubbub of Vail mm -hmm. or Lion's Head, just about a mile to the west. We have two properties there in one of the, the developments called Mill Race, and we have uh, three, I'm sorry, three properties available for sale right now. Mm -hmm. Two are a very rare redevelopment opportunity. Those are the photos you just saw with mm -hmm. the, the buffalo head on the wall. Mm -hmm. uh, these big three bedrooms on the top floor location, huge windows that uh, could be purchased and combined to one big, huge 4,000 square foot unit or bought separately. Mm -hmm. It's a really rare redevelopment opportunity. And then we have a two bedroom uh, that is turnkey, totally redone, just beautiful, ready to go for about a million. And it's all right there in that two. location. Right in that location. And as the photo showed, you've got Gore Creek going right through it. You have a, a very, very nice hotel that's going to be converted into, it's going to be going through a huge renovation and a huge influx of capital. The neighborhood, the area are very, very excited about the future of mm -hmm. Cascade. The amenities are second to none. You have some of the only heated tennis courts in the entire Vail Valley are right there. Well, maybe we could go lay on those tennis courts this morning and just like warm up a little bit. I think that's a great idea. The Cascade is a really nice location too because you're mm -hmm. also a little closer to Down Valley, which some people appreciate. Mm -hmm. You know, you can get to Walmart, you can get to Home Depot, you can get up to Beaver Creek pretty easily as yes. well. Just hop right onto the highway. Mm -hmm. These places seem like they're pretty big in size. Well, the, the, the two three bedrooms are about 2,000 square foot each. Right. So meaning you could buy them separately or put them together mm -hmm. and make a very unique six or seven bed uh, place right there in the in the, with, in the middle of all those amenities and the convenience. Mm -hmm. And uh, a two bedroom is uh, about 1,100 square feet, right. but you're half the price of something in Vail. So a mile away for half the price of what you'd pay in Vail. Mm -hmm. That appeals to a lot of folks. Well, and you're still on that side of the south side of the highway, too. So you, again, the you bike are. path is right there. So in the summertime, you don't even need to use your car. You can just take the bike path, it's, ride to the Ford Amphitheater exactly. if you want to, go hiking. Mm -hmm. And let's talk about skiing there because there is a lift at the Cascade. You can download right straight in to Cascade mm -hmm. at the end of the day, or you can take Cascade Way that comes in off of Simba. Uh, I believe it's Simba, and you can ski right into the into the neighborhood. So right. that's uh, cool. That's yeah. what makes it very very convenient. Right. That so it's it's good in the winter and it's good in the summertime. Excellent in the summer. Okay. Beautiful do, place. Is it open houses? Just call you. How do we see that? We'll be doing an open house this week. Mm -hmm. Actually, this coming week on uh, I believe it is Wednesday. Uh, otherwise, just give us a call, and we're happy to show people. Uh, that great that property. property. Yeah. What a good location, yeah. John. Okay, John Tyler, thank you so much. John is with Slifer Smith in Frampton. Give him a call today if you would like to explore the Cascade neighborhood located in Vail. Right now, we're going to head up to Beaver Creek and let's hope that Ty Diaz is staying nice and warm this morning.